promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Now, the author points out the greatest 
clearest example of fidelity. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were all attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architects and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as death, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands of the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar, and acknowledged to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had the opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac's descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, brothers and sisters, all beloved in Christ. Good morning, magandang umaga po. I am happy to celebrate the Eucharist with you all who are devoted to Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. The Holy Rosary distinguishes us Catholics from all others, from all other members of other Christian denominations. In the 13th century, there was a heresy known as Albigensianism. It was named after the city of Albi in southern France where it started. Its main tenet was that the universe was a battleground between good and evil. The spirit was good and matter was evil. According to this heresy, the physical tangible world was corrupt and evil, the creation of Satan. On the other hand, the spiritual realm came from the good God. In this duality, we humans are spirits trapped in physical bodies. Its logical conclusion then was that we are liberated from this evil bodies at the moment of death. This was a heresy directed to our Lord Jesus Christ, the Word incarnate, God made flesh. For them, for the unintentions, it was absurd and irrational for the Son of God to become a human being with a human body, the source of evil. This belief would lead to the denial of the resurrection of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. If the body is evil and liberation comes at the moment of death, why should the spirit, which is good, go back to the body, which is evil, at the time of the resurrection? Saint Dominic fought against this heresy. Armed with prayer, Saint Dominic received the inspiration from the Blessed Virgin Mary, who appeared to him and inspired him to pray the Holy Rosary. It was Saint Dominic who started the praying of the Holy Rosary as a meditative prayer. In meditating on the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, with the eyes of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we will not go wrong. We will not fall into heresy, which is the work of Satan. For how would a mother be mistaken about her son? This is the reason for the repetition of the Hail Mary in the praying of the Rosary. The Rosary, therefore, is centered on Christ. In meditating on the life of our Lord in the mysteries of the Rosary, we are being prepared for many of life's eventualities. The joyful, glorious, and luminous mysteries are easy to handle. Sorrowful events are difficult. For example, 
the news of a critical accident of a loved one, the news of the diagnosis of terminal illness, or the news of the sudden passing away of a loved one is difficult to handle. The praying of the rosary is a training in Christian life, preparing us to face life with all its twists and turns, and sometimes even tragedies. Today's second reading speaks of the faith of Abraham, which enabled him to live his homeland and offer his son Isaac, trusting in the promises of God. Praying the rosary with the faith of Abraham in our hearts is also our weapon in fighting against all forms of destructions, making our thoughts so scattered, doing so many things without direction and focus, accomplishing nothing. In its simplicity, the rosary is a prayer of the humble that drives away evil spirits. Our Gospel for today tells us not to be afraid to sell our belongings and to give arms and to do acts of charity as means of investing treasures in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth can destroy. The Lord in the Gospel is inviting us not to be slaves of the things here on earth. He is the true liberator from slavery, from the slavery of the fear of death. He will knock on our doors at a time when we do not expect. expect. Blessed are those servants whom the Master finds vigilant on his arrival. We are stewards of up so many lives. We are not absolute owners of what we have. We need to share them with others. We can do so if we recognize that everything that we have comes from the Lord. If we think that we are what we are because of our efforts alone, we are not in the sight of the truth. Everything that we are and everything that we have comes from the Lord. That is why we can share and we have to share what we have with those in need. We are God's children and masters over our possessions. We are not slaves of what we possess. Our possessions, our lives, our loved ones can be taken away from us. And that is the truth. My dear friends, with the aid of the Rosary and through the intercession of Our Lady, we join in our hearts. Let us prepare for the arrival of our Lord into our lives at a time when we do not expect. Amen. Amen. Begotten and made 
of ourselves to the care of the Father and the intercession of Jesus, we offer these prayers. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord.
blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Jacqueline Francis, our Pope, Joseph William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
with you all the way.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have mentioned save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Maybe I don't know about the two chapters, Jersey City and Catholic. Uh, Coordinators impart to others 
an initiation or a deeper formation in those realities that they themselves have learned as truths to be followed in living and to be celebrated in liturgy. In this celebration, we will bless the name of the Lord for giving us such co-workers and pray that through the Holy Spirit, they will receive the grace they need, they need in their service to the Blessed Mother. With those who have been called to serve as coordinators for the deputies of our Lady of the Rosaries of Manama, as you stand, now I ask you, are you willing to exercise the responsibilities of coordinators of the deputies of our Lady of the Rosary of Manama? May God help you to be good stewards to what has been entrusted to you, and may you all as coordinators who serve the Blessed Mother, receive the grace you need for your service. With your Father, and blessing the Lord, strengthen these servants of yours in the result of to dedicate themselves as coordinators for the Blessed Virgin Mary. May she enlighten the way so these coordinators can do the work and ministry to propagate and promote the devotion and reverence to the Blessed Mother to know her better, make her known, inspire in others a sincere love for the devotion. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations, Allah, the coordinators for receiving the
heard the music provided by the KDG Choir. Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. 